So I've picked up a new CRT monitor, which I must say I'm pretty impressed with. It's also a Packard Bell, like the previous one I was using, but it's 17 inches this time. The other one was only 14 inches, which I found to be a bit small to be honest. So quite a bit more screen real estate on this one. As you can see, it's got sort of a similar footprint to the previous one. Here I've got the old screen on the floor, the 14 inch one, which I will probably be hanging on to for a while as a backup. As for the specs, I've got a photo here of the box. It supports a resolution of 1280 by 1024 with a maximum refresh rate of 85 hertz, whereas the uh, the old 14 inch I was using only supports 1024 by 768 at 60 hertz. The model of the new one is an LC700 from 2004. Must admit, I'm quite lucky to find one of these actually, as well, everyone's after the more recent CRTs. As we all know, the tubes degrade over time with use, so I can see why everyone's well, after the post 2000 models. I think the last CRTs were manufactured in 2010, so this display here is definitely one of the more recent ones. And it even came with an original PS2 ball mouse. Pretty cool. Probably won't be using this though, as uh, well mouse tech has moved on considerably since these were around. But it's still, you know, pretty cool. Goes with the aesthetics of the monitor. Oh, and I'll show you this TV I picked up as well recently. Just a basic 14-inch portable TV people used to have in their bedrooms. I'll probably do some PlayStation 1 gaming on that at some point. Pretty impressed with that display as well, in very good condition. I had a query from someone about my uh, retro desk setup. I've got a foldable mouse and keyboard tray attached to my cube shelving unit by some clamps, as you can see here. This is very good for saving space and it means I don't have to buy a second desk or replace the desk I've recently bought for a larger one. So pretty cool. Now back to the monitor, let's turn it on. I do love the sounds these analog displays make, very nostalgic. As you can see here, the display options. I'm still using 1024 by 768 at 60Hz. I find it just fine for retro gaming, to be honest. Here are the OSD controls. Quite a few settings to play with here. The brightness is only set to 50% and it looks just fine, so this is another good sign that the tube is in excellent condition. Lots of other options here I'm not going to mess with, as it looks good as it is, to be honest. I see there's a degauss option, which is nice to have. Okay, so now it's time for some gameplay. Let's start with good old Doom 2, the PC version. This is the first time I've played a game on this screen, so I'm hoping all is good. Gameplay is nice and smooth, as expected from a CRT. Must admit, it looks a lot better than the previous 14 inch. So, very, very impressed with this. Pretty good. some Quake 3 Arena. This is probably the first PC shooting game I ever played. Let's see how this performs. Yeah, let's
let's do a bit of DM6. Be rude not to. Absolute classic, this map. So for the final game, let's do a bit of uh, posing force. Now you can probably see some lines on the screen. Uh, that's nothing to do with the display itself. That's purely the sure, camera. The refresh rate. The monitor isn't completely synchronised with the shutter speed of the camera. So apologies for that. It doesn't look like that in person. It looks perfect. So yeah, I absolutely love the screen. I'll be doing plenty more videos on it in the future. And uh, thanks for watching.